हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ट्वेल्व वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बटनी पेपर सेकेंड इन सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट और सेमिस्टर सेकेंड यू हैव टू टू पेपर्स बॉटनी पेपर फर्स्ट इज ऑन प्लान डाइवर्सिटी एंड बॉटनी पेपर सेकेंड इज ऑन फॉर्म एंड फंक्शन द बर्थ पेपर्स आर ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी मार्क्स प्रैक्टिकल्स the the syllabus of this paper is unit first is on cell biology in cell biology uh, the first point in this unit is the general structure of plant cells in that uh, you have to study about the cell wall um, plasma membrane and different models of this plasma membrane the second unit is on अल्ट्रा स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ सेल ऑर्गेनलीज लाइक एंडोस्प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट सो दीज आर पॉइंट कवर्ड इन यूर यूनिट फॉर सेल बायोलॉजी द यूनिट सेकेंड इज ऑन इकोलॉजी इन दैट देर इज अगेन टू सब टॉपिक्स इन फर्स्ट देर इज द स्टडी ऑफ द एनर्जी पिरामिड्स एंड एनर्जी फ्लो इन एन इको सिस्टम एंड सेकेंड Uh, subunit is on types of ecosystem in the aquatic and terrestrial uh, ecosystem are you uh, included then unit third is on genetics so in the genetics uh, first point is on phenotype genotype then uh, mendelian genetics and you have to also uh, study the different crosses like mono hybrid di hybrid test cross back cross ratio etc the second uh, sub unit in, uh, our second point in this unit is the epistatic and non epistatic interaction and also the multiple alleles so this is the your syllabus in semester first or paper second that is on form and functions then uh, let's uh, discuss the one by one uh, unit so you need first is on cell biology uh, cell biology is nothing but the study of structures and functions so uh, before starting the cell or what is the cell so for example if uh, when we writing something or when you writing the uh, story in the story there are different sentences in sentences there are different words or in word they are different alphabets like the same thing in the plant cell structure there are different plant organ and different plant organ they are made by the different cell organelles so just like different organs within the body the plant cell structure includes various components known as the cell organelles and they have to perform the different function to sustain its life uh, uh, as like uh, our body in our body there are different uh, cell organelles like heart pancreas stomach uh, same thing in the plant there are also different uh, plant cells and in that there is the different cell organelles जैसे प्लांट एनिमल बॉडी में जैसे कि डिफरेंट सेल ऑर्गेनलीज है फॉर एग्जांपल हमारे बॉडी में हार्ट होता है स्टमक होता है पैंक्रियाज होता है किडनी होती है उसी तरह जो प्लांट में डिफरेंट सेल ऑर्गेनलीज होते हैं दैट इज न्यूक्लियस होता है फिर न्यूक्लियोलस रहता है साइड में उसके रफ एंड ऑफ प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम्स है फिर जो होल सेल है दैट इज़ फुल ऑफ द साइटोप्लाज्म जो लिक्विड स्ट्रक्चर रहता है सेल के अंदर उससे साइटोप्लाज्म बोलते हैं जो दिज होल सेल इज कवर्ड बाय द सेल वॉल जो साइड में हमें ग्रीन कलर में दिख रही है दैट इज द सेल वॉल ऑल्सो द सेल ऑर्गेनल इज लाइक गॉलगी वेसल्स जो सर्कुलर uh, शेप्स में है फिर माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया है क्लोरोप्लास्ट रहता है कुछ ग्रैन्यूल्स है वाइट कलर में जो हमें पूरा बिग साइज दिख रहा है दैट इज द ओविल 
these are different cell organelles which are present in the plant cells so in this plant cell structure uh, there are uh, different cell organelles we, and in that some are included in your syllabus so uh, the first cell organelle that is included in your syllabus that is the cell uh, or plant cell wall so uh, this cell wall it is uh, the rigid outer cover of the plant cells with a major role of protecting the plant cells and giving it itself cells so as you seen in this first figure uh, this cell wall that is the outer covering of the cell this is made by the different uh, layers that is middle lamella primary cell wall plasma membrane this uh, contains the different uh, cellulose microfibrils soluble proteins hemicellulose and pectins so uh, this is the uh, structure of the plant cell wall uh, which having the functions to protecting the cell wall as well as giving the shape to the cells then next cell organelle is universal lapis that is the plasma uh, cell membrane or plasma membrane so this is the uh, this is a bilipid membrane that is made up of protein subunit and carbohydrates with the characteristic of semi permeability factors so uh, this is a lipid membrane which made up by the different uh, subunits and carbohydrates and they are different models uh, mentioned by the different scientists then uh, the main characteristic or main function of this membrane is to be uh, transportation or it is be uh, semi permeable and that will be help in the transportation of the micromolecules then uh, third uh, cell organelle that is plasmodesmata plasmodesmata that means the uh, microscopic channel that assist in communicating and transporting the materials across plant cells so um, for transport transporting the material from one cell to another cells some pores are present on the cell wall so in the pore region uh, there is the presence of the plasmodesmata jo uh, cell wall mein jo pores rehte hain usme plasmodesmata present rehte hain aur plasmodesmata kya karte hain jo communicating aur transporting ka kaam dono cells mein jo bhi internal material rehta hai use transport karne ka kaam hai plasmodesmata karte kuch uh, जो दोज पार्टिकल विच आर नॉट सेमी परमेल और द लार्ज सर्ज पार्टिकल दैट विच आर नॉट ट्रांसपोर्टिंग बाय द सेल ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ पार्टिकल्स विल बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू द प्लाज्मोटेजमाटा दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लाज्मोटेजमाटा देन फोर्थ सेल ऑर्गेनिज इट इज द क्लोरोप्लास्ट so chloroplast it is uh, most important cell organelle in the plant cells because it performs the functions of photosynthesis isme mon photo photosynthesis ka kaam hota hai photosynthesis means kya that means the production of the food with the help of sun and water jo plant green plants rehte hain green plants kya karte hain wo sunlight aur water ki madad se जो लाइट का कन्वर्जन फूड एनर्जी में करते हैं सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शंस ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास्ट और इट इज द साइट ऑफ फूड सिंथेसिस यहाँ पे जो भी प्लांट्स को फूड रिक्वायर है उस यहाँ पे तैयार किया जाता है सो इन दिस क्लोरोप्लास्ट देर आर डिफरेंट सेल ऑर्गेनलिस और डिफरेंट पार्ट्स that is uh, outer membrane inner membrane in that between the intermediate space are also present the disc like uh, thylakoids are present and uh, the uh, four to six thylakoid uh, combinedly called the granum 
some chloroplast DNA, then starch granules, ribosomes are also present in this chloroplast. The two thalacoids are combined or joined by the lamella. So these are the structure of chloroplast. We have detailed study in uh, next videos. And then uh, last cell organelle that is endoplasmic reticulum. So this endoplasmic reticulum is the continuous network of folded membranous sacs housed in the uh, cell cytosol. So this endoplasmic reticulum mostly present in the uh, cytoplasm and always it is uh, attached with the uh, nuclear membrane. So this uh, endoplasmic reticulum have two types. One is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, in on the basis of presence of ribosomes, so as you seen in the figure dot like structure, these are the ribosomes. So, in rough endoplasmic reticulum, there is the attached ribosomes are present, but in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, there is the no attachment of the ribosome. So, this is the main difference in between uh, the two endoplasmic reticulums. The detail we have studied in next videos. Then second unit is on ecology. So ecology is the study of organisms, the environment and flow or the how the organisms interact with each other and their environment. That means the study of the organism as well as environment that is known as the ecology. So uh, in ecology various type of uh, uh, studies are happening like uh, organisms, populations, community, biospheres and ecosystems. So the first point uh, in your syllabus that is the energy pyramid. So energy pyramid is a graphical representation showing the flow of energy at each tropical level in an ecosystem. Uh, so energy pyramid as you know the it is graphical representation that shows the flow of energy from the primary producers to the uh, apex predators so with the help of sun energy the producers will be produces the food and they will be uh, goes to or some energy will be emitted in the form of heat or after the decomposition only 10% energy will be transferred from one tropical level to the another tropical level that means in if in producers group 100% energy will be produced then um, primary consumers will consume only 10% energy then in second consumers 1% in this way the energy will be uh, transfer from one topical level to the next topical level. So in detail we have studied in um, next. Then second point that is on uh, energy flow, uh, flow through the ecosystem. So in that there are different uh, tropical levels um, as like producers, consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers which is also known as the primary consumers which is also known as the herbivores that means the animals which uh, eating the herbs plants the carnivores that means the animals which are eating the herbivores as well as uh, the plants then in tertiary consumers that is carnivores they are only eating the meat so um, this is the inside we have to see in the chain that is grasses are uh, the first tropical level then um, mice is the second tropical level then mice eat by the snake so snake is the third tropical level and hawk is the fourth tropical level so in this way the energy will be transferred from the one tropical level to the uh, fourth tropical levels the next point is the food chain in food chain the grasshoppers uh, eat the plants, then the mice eat the grasshopper, the snake eat the mice, then 
द स्न ईगल ईट द स्नेक फेन द हॉक डायज द फंजाय ब्रेक्स द बुडल्स डाउन एंड द टर्न्स इन टू न्यूट्रियंट्स एंड लास्टली द न्यूट्रियंट्स अलॉंग विथ द सन एंड वॉटर कॉज इज द ग्रास टू ग्रो सो इन दिस वे द फूड चेन विल बी हैपनिंग एट द डिफरंट लेवल्स सो द विथ द फूड चेन द एनर्जी विल बी ऑल्सो ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन ट्रॉपिकल लेवल टू द नेक्स्ट एंड from the from the grasshopper to sorry from the plants the chain will be beginning and the end with the uh, soil and again on this soil the our nutrient soil again the uh, plants will be uh, grows so this is the food chain uh, in detail we have to study in next videos then in your syllabus there is the two types of ecosystems are included first one is the aquatic ecosystem aquatic ecosystem that means the ecosystem in the waters so uh, you have to study the different uh, aquatic ecosystems uh, for example in the water there are presence of the phytoplankton bacteria some fishes worms and some aquatic plants and that uh, the surrounding area some snakes or grasses are also are present then some amphibians animals are also present in the aquatic ecosystem so in there is the different communities are present in the aquatic ecosystem we are studied later then uh, last point is the terrestrial ecosystem so in terrestrial that means the ecosystem on the lands so there are different uh, e uh, terrestrial ecosystem according to the climatic conditions like forest then desert then grasslands you have to see in pictures so in detail we have studied in next uh, lectures then third unit is the genetics so genetics is the study of heredity is a biological process whereby a parent passes certain genes on to their children's or offspring um, so as you know little bit about genetics so uh, genetics that means the study of heredity heredity means what so in different characters we are passes from parents to the daughter or parents to the offspring that is known as the heredity jo characters uh, parents se unke child mein aa jate that characters known as the heredity or genetics jo heredity characters se wo study karta hai then you have to picture uh, seen the picture of uh, george uh, mandels so these are the father of genetics the lot of works has been done this uh, scientist mandels so for studying the different uh, genetic concept they are used the uh, pea plants why they use pea plants because these pea plants are having different seven contrasting characters on that plants for example uh, regarding the seeds two varieties there are in one variety round seeds or some winkle seeds then Uh, seed interior some in um, one variety yellow variety or other is the green seeds variety then the flowers or petal colors uh, in one plant there is the purple uh, petals or white petals are observed then regarding the pods some pods are inflated and pinched then position of the flowers some flowers are present on the axial that means on the side branches or at the some terminal regions terminal that means the jo uh, apex part rehta hai wahan pe flowers present rehte so these are some contrasting characters that will be helpful for the studying the uh, genetical concept so and the next figure is about the mono hybrid cross uh, as you have little bit idea about this uh, mono hybrid cross in that two different varieties like purple flower and 
white flower they are crossed then in f1 generation you can found the purple flower but uh, after the self pollinated this plant in f2 generation you can found that the few purple and white one white colored flower plant so this is the mono cross uh, mono hybrid cross so uh, on this basis we can study the also the different crosses like back cross that test cross the hybrid cross etc then next inter, uh, interesting thing is unit is the epistatis so epistatis that means the one gene uh, completely mask on another gene so uh, due to this uh, concept the new uh, combinations will be developed uh, for example in the mice you have to see in the black and uh, white mouse the um, intermediate color that is brown color uh, or white color so naturally the brown and black colored uh, mice are uh, present but after the crossing um, they will be form the albino color that means the intermediate uh, uh, structure uh, of the genes are observed in the mice so this is the different concept we have studied uh, in this uh, paper second so this is only the introductory part uh, of this uh, unit and from next lecture we have studied uh, unit uh, or we have starting from the unit first so i hope all of you are uh, have an idea give an idea about um, the syllabus